let's go back to the situation with hospitals in the UK, with analysis showing that more than half of all major hospital trusts in England currently having more COVID-19 patients than at the peak of the first wave of the virus. We can speak to Dr. Emeka Okoracha, who is an A&E locum doctor working in COVID wards across London and the Kent border. Thanks for taking the time from your busy, busy schedule to speak to us. Just talk us through what you're seeing. Of course, this comes on the day that London Mayor Sadiq Khan has declared London as being a major incident. Um, well, honestly, it doesn't really surprise me at this point. I think I can speak for all doctors working in London and the South East when I say we're seeing COVID, a lot of COVID. In the hospital that I've been working in, we've had to expand some of the COVID units, especially in A&E, whereas before, we were able to kind of contain them with a red zone, blue zone type basis, COVID, non-COVID. Now we're seeing the fact that we're in many cases, we're having more, many more COVID query patients than patients coming in for a number of different issues not related to coronavirus. In your opinion, are we at that stage where we're going to have patients on beds in corridors and potentially the uh, patients just unable to get from the ambulances into the hospitals in the first place? Are we there yet? Um, honestly, yes, we, we are very much at that stage. And I've, I've kind of highlighted it on my social media channels that I'm, I'm actually seeing many more patients in ambulances than I am in the department. Because what a lot of people don't realise is when you get to a &E, we have to keep COVID positive confirmed patients away from the other patients to keep them safe. And so if we can't bring them in because there's no space in our department, these patients have to stay on in the ambulances with the crew, which means we have to go see them in the ambulances, which means the ambulances can't be on the roads. And we've had a number of more ambulances deployed. We're now hearing of firefighters helping out to drive ambulances. It's getting to that level where it's, it's actually worse than we saw back in the first wave, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's putting it mildly, isn't it? When it comes to the staff, we know that, that the toll that it's taking on the physicians and the nursing staff as well. Just talk us through the kind of experiences that you've had in, in your day-to-day -day work. <clears throat> Honestly, it's difficult because now, the difference between now and before is we have a lot more accessible testing. So a lot of us are administered, you know, lateral flow tests that we can take home and we're testing ourselves every two, three, four days. A lot of people will be asymptomatic, however, they will be COVID positive. And when they're tested COVID positive with these tests sitting at home, they themselves have to isolate, they can't come into work. This obviously has an impact on the staff numbers. We already know that we're quite overrun in A&E and the COVID wards. And then if we have staff who can't make it in because they themselves or their family members are tested positive for coronavirus, it makes it a lot more difficult. And obviously now with it being winter, it being darker, it being colder, it's taken its toll on a lot of people's mental health. I think it was a lot more manageable back when it was the uh, summertime and, you know, you can go on the weekends to the parks and run about and enjoy yourself outside. Now it's a bit more, a bit more tasking, definitely. And how does it work for you as a locum, as an A&E doctor who, who works over London and Kent, the, the, what, some of the most hit areas? Is there a, a danger that you going into different areas that that... that adds to the risk of spreading this, this dreadful disease. Um, yeah, you're right. So with, with my job, I'm lucky because I get to see a number of different hospitals and the way that different hospitals are tackling the, the um, pandemic at the moment. I think with myself, I'm, I'm by myself here in London in terms of living alone. So it doesn't increase the risk, luckily, to a bunch of people I'm seeing because I'm not seeing anyone. But in terms of the actual patient contact, I don't think so. I don't think it makes any really difference because I'm, I'm so exposed to COVID and coronavirus. That's why I think it was very important for myself to get vaccinated because of my exposure. Luckily, I haven't been ill myself so far, but I do worry sometimes about seeing patients and possibly spreading it to them. Hence why, obviously, with myself and my colleagues, we're wearing masks, gloves and taking the safety measures to protect our patients when we can. And have you been vaccinated? Last question. Yes, I have had my first dose of the vaccine and I'm awaiting my second dose in February. Fantastic news. Really good news to hear that. Thank you so much, Dr. Emeka Okoracha, for sharing your experience and uh, keep up the good work. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you very much.